When you're practicing semen retention, if you've been practicing for some time and really deeply, you'll know that there are some strange side effects that show up. I'm going to tell you my top five strangest side effects so far on my semen retention journey. I'd love to hear yours as well. At least give, give me at least one. Leave them in the comments below. All right, let's get started. My name is Nicola Daz and I help men master their sexual energy so you can become a powerhouse both in and outside the bedroom. Uh, by the way, I got a free uh, training coming up. It's a sexual alchemy training. It's 90 minutes uh, so that you can get a sample of the techniques and practices that help you master your sexual energy, uh, master both bedroom performance as well as overall performance outside the bedroom. I mean, you could take this energy, you could take this training and put it to any area of your life. So go in the link below, register, and I'll see you on the training. All right, semen retention lifestyle is amazing. The amount of energy that you're gonna experience and the cool gifts that are gonna be able to unfold. You have so much potential within you and this potential begins to unfold the more prana, the more consciousness, the more energy that you build. Now there's some strange side effects that are gonna come with this. Here are my top five strangest side effects when practicing semen retention so far. All right, number five, the Pocahontas effect. What is the Pocahontas effect? It's the ability to connect and communicate with animals. You know, where I go on walks all the time, if you follow me on my other social media platforms, you'll see I'm always on walks, I'm always outdoors. And one of the things is that, so I, I'm always seeing animals. Generally, when I see deers, they just run from me, right? They just kind of look at me, they get freaked off, I kind of go, uh, uh and, then they, and then they run. Uh, and that's just gen generally been the interaction. Well, the other day, this is just a couple days ago, I was uh, going out for my walk and I started noticing that animals, essentially, I, you know, I have two cats, they're calmer around me, they hang out with me more. I got one cat, Vinny, he just follows me around everywhere that I go. Meow. And so, you know, I started noticing more and more of a connection with animals. What was interesting just a couple days ago is I was out on this walk and there was a couple deer. I came around the corner and there was a couple deer. Uh, it looked like a mother and, uh, you know, her baby. And they were grazing and they were eating grass. You know, and they, they looked up to me and, and they looked at me. And what was interesting is I was really deep in my own awareness as I've been living from that space. See, semen retention gives you such heightened awareness that you can't help but slowly realize that, I am not my mind, I am not my body, and you start to live from this very still place within yourself. So I was in that zone, and as the animals um, you know, looked, at, looked, looked up at me, I also looked up at them, but my energy, I wasn't startled by them. There was no story in my head that was created about what is that or fearful. I didn't try to label them or, or place them in a box. It was really interesting, just a fully connected experience. And I kept walking and I just looked at them and smiled and they just looked at me and I could see that they were very calm. Like they weren't gonna run, they weren't going anywhere. I wasn't afraid of them and they weren't afraid of me. And I said, hello. And I waved and then I continued walking and that was it. And they must have been within 10 feet of me. It's the closest I've ever been to deer. This is one of the coolest side effects that have shown up. This really deep awareness that has allowed me to be more connected with animals. Number four, heightened intuition. Getting a sense of what's about to happen. Now I'm going to share another animal story. This one's a little bit sadder. I was, again, I was on for a walk. Uh, uh, I was out for a walk and I saw this little mouse. It was just a tiny little mouse on the sidewalk. And when I looked at this mouse, I had this feeling, this knowingness that this mouse was going to die. But then of course my human mind pops up and just goes, I, 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 whatever, you know, I'm just kind of, whatever. but I, I couldn't help but feel this deep feeling that this mouse was going to die. And so I watched the mouse and the mouse started running and it starts to run away from the sidewalk and out to the road. And I knew, I was like, something's gonna happen. And then this mouse goes down to the road and then I see a car coming and I had this 
you know, and, and maybe in retrospect, I should have acted upon it, but I had this other thought and it was so clear and distinct that says, go save it. But I didn't, I ignored that thought. And so I just witnessed this mouse and then I saw the car and boom, the car hit the mouse, the mouse died and that was it. I said some mantras, you know, for the soul of the mouse and do hope that that mouse, you know, uh, reincarnates into something wonderful. But this sense, this is one story of many where my sense of intuition has just been so heightened where it almost has a sense of guidance. Like, do this, do that, do that. Oh, you want to create this? Do this, do that, do this, do that. My spider sense is tingling. And so I've been following this and been noticing it. Well, first of all, this YouTube channel has been growing like crazy over the last few weeks as more I uh, follow this deeper. We've got more guys registering. I've got more students inside of the sexual alchemy course. Things are just moving in such a, a way that it seems to be unfolding. And it's like I have a sense of what's to come and I get some intuition about what to do in the moment to make that future you know, or to see that future. So it's a really interesting experience. That's definitely on my list. All right, number three. Okay, first of all, let me just apologize to all my spiritual friends here <laughs> for this one, but hey, it is what it is. I got bigger balls. <laughs> and you know what's funny? There's a comedian, his name is Tom Segura. He's got a podcast that he uh, airs on YouTube. Um, really funny stuff that my wife watches. Uh, and and I've, obviously I've watched some episodes. Anyways, he's, she showed me this thing. My wife comes to me one day and says, hey, can you do this? And she shows me this guy who basically kind of like moves his leg in a certain way and slaps his ball. So you can like slap his thigh against his balls, right? And uh, you know, he was explaining that, you know, you kind of need like, you know, you got to need like low hangers to be able to do this. And I was like, you know what? I think, I think I could do it anyways. Within five minutes of just practicing the technique, I was able to clap my balls against my thigh, proving I have bigger balls. All right, number two, facial hair and hair everywhere else. You know, it was interesting. I remember, okay, this is gonna be a little bit too much information for, for most, but uh, you know, as kids, right? You know, we run around naked. It's just, we don't have all the body shame that, you know, the world has put on us, uh, you know, now. Um, one of the great, another great side effects, by the way, of sexual uh, semen retention and sexual alchemy is just, is just a freedom and comfortability with yourself. Uh, but anyways. That's a bonus, bonus, uh, bonus side effect. Um, but I, you know, we run around as kids. And so anyways, I, I was butt naked in front of my mom. And, uh, and I don't know, whatever we were talking about. And uh, something she's like, oh, well, you know, you're gonna grow hair everywhere. And I remember even as a kid being like, oh, oh, ugh, no, I'll shave it off. And, and, and again, remember, like, this is like way before puberty, way before like, so this is a very innocent type of conversation. No, I don't want, I don't want no hair, no hair, no hair, blah, blah. okay. Well, most of my life, uh, especially when I started getting sexually active more in high school, I was self-conscious about my pube hair and like having it to be too long or anything like this. And so I started trimming it and eventually, sh and eventually shaved it off. And so, I shaved it off, shaved it off, shaved it off for, for the longest time and, and kept my, always kept myself like as hairless as possible. Well, after practicing semen retention, uh, one, I started, you know, growing thicker facial hair to the point where I could grow, could grow a beard. I tried growing beards in the past, never worked out. Like I have really stringy hair, but it was really like, just like, you know, just be like a few strings here and there, right? It was very gross looking. <laughs> so anyways, I'm able to grow a beard and have this beard, which, I, which uh, you know, uh, I, I'm really enjoying. And, uh, and, and I also grew, grew pube pairs. And what's interesting is I found out later on that my wife actually finds that more attractive, more manly. And so I started noticing a little thicker hair on my chest, my pube pairs. And now I just allow myself to be natural and are so comfortable in that. And what's interesting is I always used to like, you know, whether my wife or, you know, looking at some images or whatever, I always preferred like a, a woman that's shaved and clean. And now that I don't, you know, so it's it, the more I become a man, the more I can appreciate the naturalness of a woman and who she is. It's a poor, always like kind of this porn star image of sex, 
you know, the, the perfect guy and he's like blah, blah, blah with the perfect woman. It's everything's perfect. It's like, that's almost kind of like, it doesn't turn me on anymore because I realize it's not natural. But what turns me on is just really natural, really natural. And so I've noticed my appreciation for a woman's body uh, in, in a totally non-sexual way, but just a, a sincere appreciation for what uh, a woman and a feminine energy brings uh, has increased. And I have a comfortability. I've got more hair on my body and I enjoy much more. I feel much more comfortable being a man and just being a man, uh, you know, uh, because of this practice. So that's, uh, that's number two. Number one strangest benefit is what I call the melting of my mind. Uh, I'm not saying that uh, I'm an enlightened being at all or that I have no, you know, I have no mind. I clearly have a mind and an ego and a false ego and, and that's all related to the body. So I'm very much aware that uh, uh, this is not a statement of purity. This is a statement of melting belief systems. I can literally feel belief systems melting off of me. Like, it's just like, I just don't get it anymore. Like, I'm like, why is that important anymore? Why, that, that doesn't even make sense. And to me, life seems so simple. It seems so natural. Like, I really feel this deep connectedness that God just set up this world. He said, here's the world. It's got all these natural urges and pulls. You have to learn to work with them and master them. And the more you do, the more that you'll evolve and the more that higher dimensions of life will open up. And to do that, you have to leave all of this worldly consciousness and worldly beliefs. And that, that really comes from the collective. Like if you look at the planet as a, as a living entity and all the human beings as a function of this planet, we're like very grouped together. Everybody believes the same. They dress the same. They walk the same. They talk. You see, nobody's an individual. Nobody's expressing themselves or actualizing themselves. And what happens is when you retain semen in you and you learn to transmute that semen, you learn to turn it into oja, spiritual power, energy, fuel, then what happens is you climb the ladder of actualization, you become more of you, so therefore you become less and less like everybody else. And actually everybody is like that, but everybody is so interested in the belief systems and approval of everybody else that they just can't go experience life. But I truly believe that God has just set up this life for us to go and experience and evolve. And you have to melt your old systems, your old beliefs, your own patterns, what you think. Semen retention gives you such self-awareness and control, such willpower that you're able to melt your mind and transform or alchemize your energy into something brand new. And this is how more money, more sex, more whatever, and becomes available to you. And for the spirituals, those guys on the spiritual path, that's also how you evolve to your self and eventually God consciousness. Hey, I wanna hear from you. What are the strange benefits? What are the things, side effects that you've noticed on your journey? And also I remind you, this webinar uh, that I have made available for you is a 90 minute intensive. Uh, so you're not just gonna listen to me talk about SEMA retention or talk about se uh, uh, um, sexual alchemy you're gonna actually feel the experience. I'm gonna lead you through exercises where you're gonna feel your energy raise and shift. So you're gonna know it for yourself um, so that you can have this power and you can retain your semen, you can live the lifestyle and become a master both in and outside the bedroom. All right, so go register. I'll see you inside of the training and I'll also see you on the next video.